Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I am here with Jack and this is yet another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. Now in this tutorial we're going to talk about layer blending modes. What does that mean and how does a blending mode affect a layer? And then at the end of this tutorial we're going to have a little uh, practice here with the picture I have on the screen and we're going to play around with that using a gradient and a blending mode and also using a mask and I'll show you how to put those all together in this episode of Jack's Tech Corner. Let me also say on Sundays, uh, if you happen to be uh, watching this whenever, Sunday mornings starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are live on Justin TV. Now if you go to my website, jackstechcorner.com, just simply look on the right side there and you'll see the little player or just simply go to Justin TV. That's Justin, J U S T I N dot TV forward slash Jack's Tech Corner. You'll come right into my channel. So I'll see you there and I take a, it's live. I show you how to do Photoshop elements and we take questions uh, and I answer them. We can actually take your phone calls there. So I'd love to see you there. Love to hear from you. So the first thing we're going to do to get started with this lesson, as you see here, I actually have. A picture already open and this is the picture we're going to work with you've seen this earlier in one of my uh, video tutorials it's a picture of Times Square New York City and I thought it was kind of cool for what the effects that I'm going to throw at it what I'm going to do with it the first thing we're going to do as always is duplicate that background right so we make a uh, uh, this is a background that's locked so we want to duplicate that to something we can actually use so again command J or um, control J and now we have it here. So now we can start, uh, we want to add a gradient layer to this layer. Now again, we want to add a gradient layer that's non-destructive and something with a layer mask. We could go up here very easily and say, you know, um, not here, I'm sorry, go over here and click on a gradient. We can apply a gradient, right, like this. We've done that before. But as you can see, it goes over that particular layer. It's the whole layer. We don't want that. So let's undo that. Here's what we want to do is go down here to the create a new fill or adjustment layer. This way it's non-destructive to the picture because it's going to be above the picture. Let's click on gradient. There we go. Right now it just happens to be set on yellow. You could choose any color you want for this. Playing around with this uh, video here in this tutorial I found actually that the purple over the orange or violet and orange work pretty well for this. You can also play with some black and white. But as you play with black and white, you start to unsaturate your picture, right? You start to take away something from it. So let's go, oops, not the red and green. I said <laughs> violet and orange. Okay. Click OK. Now you can see here we have this non-destructive layer. It's called the gradient fill one. And we also have a layer mask with it right here. But with this clicked on here, this the whole layer, we're going to actually start playing with our blending modes to see what the blending mode, each blending mode will do with the actual picture itself. Click on dissolve. Really nothing, right? Darken. There you go. You can kind of darken it. So now what's happening is, is the picture is actually coming through that particular gradient, that color gradient that we're using. Multiply. Again, it's coming through. Color burn. Now I'm going to show you ways once we start looking to see what we really like on how to actually pull out more detail from that picture itself while leaving everything else kind of darkened. Linear burn, darker color. It gives it that really interesting look. You know, if you took that picture right now and print it off and hung it on your wall, it's going to be a conversation piece. And that's what we want to see. Lighten, it's just lightening everything up there. Screen, color dodge, linear dodge lighter color there you go so you can see everything hopefully you're seeing this okay and i'm sure you are in this video overlay 
A lot of people like to use overlay for a lot of different uh, types of effects. Uh, soft light, right, kind of softens it down. And that soft light, if you get the proper color, I would use more of a bluish because blue basically is a softer color anyway as far as when you're talking about lights. So if you select a blue and do softer light, it's going to give it a real nice soft effect. Hard light, see that's making it more orangey because hard light or, or heated or heavier light is more orange. A vivid light. And some of these are almost like setting the dials on your camera. The vivid color. Pin light. Hard mix. See, it's kind of crazy. That's interesting looking. You get a nice effect there. A difference. Again, very interesting look. An exclusion. Then you got your hue, right? Your saturation. You're just oversaturating all the colors, basically, right? That's how you're doing that. Color. And then the last one is lumeticity. And it looks like this. So it's very interesting. It's it's almost to me like a negative when you look at this picture. And what I wanted to do with this part of it is I wanted to show you uh, with this picture that we can now bring out some of the detail, but still leaving the mystery type of picture behind it. And maybe that's what I'll call this tutorial. Uh, maybe it's going to be called the mystery, uh, the mystery picture or something like that. I'll have to check and see what I want to name this one. But I'm going to click right here on my layer mask thumbnail. And if I go over here, we have the black and the white. And if you flip this, it may be white and black. Just flip the little handle here, or you can click on X on your keyboard, and it's going to flip that. You want to paint with black to reveal and white to hide. The reason that is, if you look at this, it's a white layer mask. So anything black on here would be like we were etching this out, and we would see what's under that. And if you hit X again, anything white, we would cover it back up to match our grading again. So let's go ahead and pick out a brush. And we will start right here. We're going to pick out this particular person here. And you can always do this to see what you want to open up. Say, so, well, what are we going to open? What would look interesting opened up? And I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's go in here and we're going to just start opening this up. Just like this. And again, it doesn't have to be perfectly square because you want to have it so it's like it's a mystery, right? You want to have it so it looks different and you want that conversation piece. That's what we build from, from our art and that's what we use in our house to hang in our houses. So it doesn't have to be. It could be jagged. right? It could be anything you want. You can put little lines on there. Something like so. And it just makes it interesting. It doesn't like look like you tried to cut it out. We're just kind of revealing something. Maybe we'll do the same thing over here with the Lion King. We'll just reveal this. And I'm not sure if on that side of the wall there, if that's actually Lion King or not too. Let's look. Uh, nope, that's another billboard over there. So there you go. And I also thought down here, when playing around with this picture earlier, I thought, well, if I open my brush up using the right bracket key, you can actually just come in here and just kind of make some dots like this. You know what I mean? Just kind of open stuff up a little bit. Just erode itself, right? Maybe like that. So again, I'm just kind of revealing it. Maybe I want to reveal this car back here just so you can see that car and the guy here. Just something like that. 
So now we can see by looking at that, that that is a picture of times square. And there's one more thing you could do. I was seeing playing around with this is, is playing with the opacity. You could drop the opacity just a little bit so it's not too, too uh, hidden. You know, this is very much hidden. Maybe you just want something like this so you can see, oh, that is Times Square. And it's kind of interesting because it's a different look. The colors are kind of blended all together. But we have a couple things here we brought out in detail. Uh, maybe you even want to do one more just to bring it up even more. And that's probably what I would do up here. I would do this fan of the opera up here. That's big for New York City, fan of the opera. Always has been. And I want to show you here real quick that if I'm going up here, all right, so I get this done, and I go like this. And I'm clicking around, I go like this. Uh-oh. I just destroyed that whole layer, right? Now I'm going to have to delete the layer, do it again, and start my picture over. Oh, man. No. Hit the X key on your keyboard, flip these around, or hit this, right? Make it white, and just paint that over with white. Make the brush bigger. Paint that back over because now remember with, with a mask, if you go over it with white, you're hiding what's under, or yeah, what's underneath because you're going to paint it with white. And with black, you reveal. So maybe we can close this up just a little bit. Just like that. Okay, so there you have it. There it is. It looks really, really nice. Uh, it's a very interesting picture, I thought, anyway, playing around this morning that. This is a neat little tutorial. That's what I thought I wanted to show you about blending methods and how to use a non-destructive gradient layer to totally change your picture. With that said, folks, I did want to uh, bring up and tell you once again that uh, tons and tons of videos, uh, 112 videos on the 3 DVD set are available for your purchase. So if you enjoyed this video tutorial and you said, boy, Jack, He's pretty good with Photoshop. Maybe I want to learn some more. Uh, this is not a hard lesson series. This is just individual videos that you can pick and choose which ones you want to watch. And you can learn individual techniques. It's not a class. It's not lessons we go through and we have to uh, do step by step by step. It's just very much individual lessons. So if you pick up the DVDs, I'm sure you'll be very happy you did. If you click the pull down menu here on top, there's many, many choices here. And the latest one being Elements, Elements 9 Volume 1. Uh, or the three DVD set. Totally up to you. Also, I wanted to let everybody know that I picked up a couple sponsors. I think this is very important to have sponsors for these shows. Uh, most internet and web shows do. I don't want to harp on it, but I do want you to be aware. <coughs> Excuse me. That if you shall need any green screening products, and I've done a lot of green screen videos, Go to my website, jackstechcorner.com, and click on the green screen wizard and buy your stuff from Ken. But use my link because that, in turn, helps to show out. And I appreciate it. And Ken appreciates your business. I'm, I'm really sure he does. Also, my second uh, sponsor we did just recently pick up is oneinone.com. So for any of your hosting needs or domain names, all you need to do is come to my website, jackstechcorner.com. And click on this one-to-one -one graphic down here. Go to oneone.com, and this is the website you'll bring up. And you can pick out whatever you'd like to pick out of there. They have tons of solutions and tons of uh, web hosting services and email hosting services for you. So check them out today. That's oneone.com. But go to jackstechcorner.com. Click on that link. Again, it helps the show. So everybody, thank you very much for tuning in to this episode of Jack's Tech Corner. Not tuning in, I guess watching. This is a YouTube uh, production. And please catch me on Sundays, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And we sit down and we go over some more Photoshop elements, tips, tricks, and little quirks with it that we can do together. And I do take your phone calls. Um, so I hope to see you there. Once again, it's justin.tv forward slash Jack's Tech Corner. Or simply go to live.jackstechcorner.com. And the players are also. Any way you want to come in and join us, we'd love to have you there on Sunday mornings, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It usually lasts an hour to an hour and a half, uh, depending on how many viewers we get. So until next time, as always, folks, see if I got it here. Keep those shutters clicking.
keep the editors editing, and I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.